drop, pin and drop. So you are officially a free agent then, in that case, finally. Yes, um, uh, he's, you know, at this point, he is ex- in extreme breach of everything he proposed and has no claims to my career likeness whatsoever, just based on the terms of the agreement that we initially engaged upon or engaged in. However, at the time when it he initially began to disseminate, there was interest um, ba- from other, you know, corporate individuals that could possibly take me to the next level and they would not move forward without an appropriate official statement of release from 50 cent and his company. And I could never require that to present to any other person. So no one would willing to would be willing to gamble or take the chance that early on that they wouldn't encounter issues with him and embark into a situation. So when was the last time that you spoke with 50? Whoa, um, there was a time when he was, when the numbers was acting funny and I couldn't keep um, immediate change. I, it's hard to place the time, but I remember it was a time when I had a studio in North Hollywood, right around the corner from Power 106. And I used to hear Big Boy saying 50 was going to be on the radio, announcing it coming up in a couple hours or in a few minutes or whatever. And I would drive around the corner to the radio station and be in the parking lot when he got out. And him, Chris Lighty, Norm, uh, is that the nigga name? What's the Puerto Rican dude they used to do the records? Cruz. All his, who? Um, the, was Nelson, oh, Nelson, Nelson. Nelson. Okay. His little crew, Barry, all the people that I was familiar with, they would all act like when they see me in the parking lot, they have been breaking their neck to try to find me. Let me follow them to the hotel. I will get new numbers. Wow, so this was when Chris Lighty was still alive yeah, then. Because he died still... in 2012. The last, in- the last instance I can remember of this was when 50 had braids in his hair. He was preparing to be a character named Spider in a movie. And um, Shanique, the house had just burnt down in New York. Wow. This is the last time I can remember encountering him in this type of fashion. And he act like I just sparked up a reunion that he appreciated, gave me the new numbers, but they will only work for 24 hours. That's crazy, man. So what are you doing during this time then? Like you're basically left in limbo, right? Yeah, putting out a mixtape a month, trying to be proactive, face the, face the public. Like I don't realize this nigga just left me drowning. Um, just stay down. But I mean, that doesn't pay the bills, though. Oh, no. Um, well, you know, there was still like, you know, I was fortunate to encounter someone by the name of Russell Whitney Jr., rest in peace, whose father, Russell Whitney Sr., was a real estate um, guru before I got my advance. And he assisted me in making a couple of very sound investments initially when I got a six figure advance. So I benefited from having a friend like Russell Whitney Jr. for a long time as to where I wasn't scraped and scrapped to survive after I depleted 200,000 of what G unit had allocated toward me as my $650,000 budget. Once that ran dry, I was able to fall back on what Russ Whitney Junior had helped me establish and develop alongside his personal assistance as well. He just passed here recently, like in since the fentanyl crisis has been a crisis. Just do do your research and look him up, and you'll understand. That's unfortunate, man. Fort Myers, Florida. Yeah, 